Magic players love to argue, and we found a Magic player to argue with. Lua, who, who are you? Hi, I'm Lua. I am one half of the hit Magic the Gathering channel, Scrybabies, and today I'm here to argue with the nitpicking nerds. Yeah, we're arguing about what our top five little guys are. There are a lot of little guys in Magic, and we have a lot of opinions on them. But if you actually want to hear and buy all of these little guys online, you can go to Card Kingdom. Best place online to buy singles, $50 or more gets you free shipping. You heard it. If you go to Card Kingdom, you can buy little guys and you can hear them. You can hear them in the walls <laughs> they of They whisper Card to you. They will whisper to you and you will be glad you shop with Card Kingdom. Also, Dragon Shield, best sleeves in the multiverse. Good sleeves. You can go to our EU or US links and use the code NERDS to save 5% of your real money tax dollars on sleeves. And we're sponsored by Moxfield, the best place online to build decks, but are we going to insert it somewhere randomly in the middle? You betcha! Can't guess where it is. Now this is going to be a very simple uh, argumentative slog where we go through in reverse order our top five little guys. And I think we have to start with the guest, Mia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the guest here. We're going to start with our real guest, Lua. Okay, well, now I want to know, like, what do you think makes a little guy? Like, we're going to talk a little bit about this today. I, I have a perception for little guys. You might not agree with me on it, but my number five little guy is Signal Pest. He is a little guy who boosts your other guys. He does. He has battle guy. cry. He's got, like, the claw, and it's, like, shooting, I don't know, what is that, light? Yeah, it's a little <laughs> cannon, a little laser cannon. So, something. yeah, I think little yeah. guy is, is sort of like an energy. It's also... Highly correlated with size, I think. Yeah, I think it definitely has think, to do with that. Yeah, my brain goes to if it's like under three mana and it's like a two, two or under, that constituted being a little guy. Yeah. I can, when I think of Signal Pest 2, I think of like a little guy just screaming and he's like, ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah he's doing cry. his best. I'm glad we agree. <laughs> he's trying to warn everybody. He's like, guys, guys, there's please. something over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like and he's <laughs> rallying them up. Yeah, like yeah. those little like alarm bugs. Like, <laughs> yes, that's Absolutely. very much what he does. Yeah, do you want to go next? I will go next. Number My five little guy. number five little guy is the witness protection target legitimate business person. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this guy is little. It doesn't matter how big he is when he starts, he becomes a little person and he's very legitimate. Okay, so like little guy, it's kind of like, well, what are you going to do? He's, you Don't bother him. He's on his way to work. He's yeah, a little guy. He's a little guy. He's a legitimate business person. I always picture them with a briefcase, too. Yeah, a little hat. He's like sunglasses. I don't think there's any argument for this. I think that is just what it is. That <laughs> is a rock-solid little guy pick. I'm going to go to my number five, then, since there's no arguing there. Uh, I have Bouncing Beebles, and this is just a stand-in for Beebles. They're little, like, fuzzy peach guys. They kind of look like little peaches. They, their butts are out, too. They, they jump around the laboratory and they're like little experiments. Okay. And I they're like. I made that up. And then I looked it up and I'm like, oh, it's a real. Yeah. They're so cute. They're, they're barely <laughs> real because they're mostly on uncards, but a Bouncing Beebles, I think, is one of the only legal cards with Beebles in it. <laughs> Beezy's Bouncing Beebles. Yeah, Beezy's Bouncing Beebles is definitely number five. There's so many of them that they have, like, you couldn't tell me that any one of them is not a little guy. They're, they... They are little guys. Maybe if you wanted to fight about. The quantity of guys, mm -hmm. you can do that, but I think this is a shoe in They give me um, the Miyazaki, the dust sprite energy. They, they look like suit sprites, yeah, like, but with butts. <laughs> <laughs> they got yeah. cheeked. They are cheeked, cheeked up. up. <laughs> the cheeked up little guys. I'm Absolutely. Sure. That was awful how we said that at the same time. We're like, they're cheeked up. So obviously as we go further on our list, each guy will be littler and guyier than the last one. Oh. So Lua, who's your number four? Oh, are we sure? Guy? That's how <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not what I went by. I went by, like, these are my top five little guys, not littler and littler, just, like, my favorite. I, no, I just mean, like, they get better. Yeah, I mean, I did Scoot Swarm, so he's kind of a little guy that makes more little guys, and I feel like that is what little guy energy needs. He yeah. needs to bring friends. He needs to bring friends, yeah. Like a little I, colony. He's also, like, a 1-1, one -one, I think, right? So that, that he's still a little dude, even though he's really powerful. I try to slot him in whatever deck I can. Scoot Swarm so. is cute, and we all need lands, so. We all need lands. There's no denying that... Little guys that scale and become more guys over time. <laughs> like, Scootworm is a threat, but it's undeniably little guys, I feel like, because there's just 100,000 of them. It's like the Beebles, you know? That's why my Beeble pick is so good. <laughs> they really want That's to why my Beeble pick is so good. I can't wait to get to number four. <laughs> I can't wait. Do you want to go to number four? I'll go to my number four next because it just fell off. Okay, this is. Yeah. I don't know about this. That's one, not a little guy! That is a little guy! No, he's not! <laughs> Dargo the Shipwrecker is, in fact, a little guy. He is big, I talked, he is round. I talked about little guy being a mentality. Dargo the Shipwrecker, his lore is that he, he's a pirate and he sails the seas, but he gets on the ship and he's just too heavy. He just kind of breaks it and destroys it. Little. Um, but this is, this is all 
factors into my plan because he thinks he's a little guy. He thinks he's like some 20 oh, wow. pound dude. He gets on the ship, he's like, well, this isn't gonna break because I'm a, just a little guy. Yeah. I think his perception of self is that he's a little guy. Okay, he's that's a, a mentality. He's a little guy with a big foot, you know? He's just little guy energy. He's like a- yeah. um, Like you your know, dog, like little guy energy. <laughs> doesn't know that he just kind of takes up space and destroys everything he touches. <laughs> and also a bunch of little guys help him get out on the battlefield, right? Technically. Yeah, you need little guys. Need so little he's artifacts. Like, little artifacts, little artifacts, cheap <laughs> yeah. ones. He surrounds himself, you know, he can sacrifice all your scoot swarms and bouncing beebles to cast Argo. So yeah. Yeah, I know a, this was controversial, but I think, I no, think I feel it's better actually about my list. Yeah, right. I feel I feel okay with that. My number four is I feel like I always write so much. A zero zero living weapon germ. Oh. These wow. will die as soon as you take off the equipment that they're attached to. But also they can be beefy, but like they're just zero zeros. What can you find that's smaller than a zero zero? I mean, they're like. They're like bacteria. They're like little, they're germs. They're they, almost like cellular. These are the tiniest guys. These can you even see them? Are they canonically visible in magic? You know, like <laughs> can you see BC's number three? <laughs> see number three? <laughs> like, are they even um, visible? No, I mean, I don't think anything's littler than a germ. I don't know if littler is a word. <laughs> <laughs> that is the littlest guy you can get. I think is a germ. I yeah, do, sure. Yeah, you know, I do have a little bit of a problem. What? I think there is a cuteness to little guys. And germs are not. How about Dargo? Cute. Dargo is adorable. Oh, Dargo's hot. You saw the new <laughs> well, Dargo. Ador he said adorable. Okay, well, um, like, well because cute. I don't usually consider hot and adorable in the same segment. Because if I see a dude and I'm like, he's hot, I'm not also like, he's so adorable. Weird. I know, right? I know a hot, adorable man that I date, at least, <laughs> for sure. Um, so I don't know that that's. I think it's possible. I wouldn't be like, wow, Dargo's so precious and tiny, but <laughs> I might call him a little guy. Well, he tries to start beef guy. with me over, here, over the germ also. I don't think germs are cute. I just don't. I don't know. Think I, about I don't think like this. Would disagree with Anything that. with like this little germ with like the what the batter skull or like the like, living like the caldera complete mm -hmm. like this little thing with this giant weapon on it. And that's not cute. I think it's kind of cute. I think it's a big cute. Weapon. I think that's mm -hmm. kind of fun. I think he's just trotting along. He's like, I'm doing my best to go to war, guys. And he has like a giant piece of armor on him, and he's like minuscule. Well, we are voting for best list in the comments, so I think we all know who's not going to win anymore. <laughs> uh, Lua, who's your number three? My number three is Phoenix Chick. Oh, that's a good one. That's a cute little guy. So when Winota, uh, I played a lot of Winota, so as you could tell, Single Plus was in there too. And I feel like I really rallied for this little guy to be good. Um, I think he's cool. It's a one with pace. It's a little chicken that's ready to do its thing. And it's kind of powerful. It's got a good effect on it too, so I'm happy about I it. I think it's actually pretty good. It, yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's, I think they used to make cute cards bad. Yes. But lately they've made just a few cute cards like amazing. Like yes. even I don't want to spoil any future lists. I don't know what's on what, but like Ragavan could be considered a little guy. I was thinking about Ragavan. I was thinking and about he's him. He's kind of yeah. busted. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just remember about Phoenix Street. The first time I met Ian, he just played it and went suck my chick and then moved along <laughs> with his life. <laughs> like, yeah, nothing, that's my man. <laughs> like nothing happened. Wow. I, we need to have him on the show. <laughs> Yeah. That guy in here. <laughs> I do think that like Ragavan, I know we're not talking about him right now, but you know, he's a, what, a 2-1 two one two for one? one? Like that's a little Qualifies. cute little guy. I mean, I feel like with this mentality, you're like, every pirate is just a little guy. Yeah, they are. They're all together. <laughs> every pirate is a little guy. <laughs> do you have any pirates or little guys? I don't have a pirate, but the little guy is Vile Smasher, but he has to have a cowboy hat. I drew oh, him here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so like the the one from Oath of oh, Oath, Oath of Thunder Junction. Oath you know? of Thunder Junction. Yeah, OTJ. Yeah. Yes, Vile Smasher. In that he is just a little guy. He has a cowboy hat that like I'm pretty sure is like bigger than him roughly, and I think that is so cute. And that has a little guy energy. If yes. you have a hat that's bigger than you. I will say, cool. I think Vile Smasher is a girl, but little guy is more of an ideology. It's a, it's a lifestyle. It's a mentality. We're it's little guys. Yeah. yeah. I'm it's not, not a gender thing. I don't know if I qualify as a little guy. You're six foot six. No, you <laughs> don't. I'm not quite a little guy. I definitely but... will play like, you know, uh, an eight drop creature. And I'm like, yeah, it's just a little guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So don't I think worry it's just, about it. It's whatever you can, like, you think a little guy can be. Yeah, we'll see what they think at home. I'm going to go to my number three here. Uh, this is Tangled Florahedron. MDFC. If you don't know this guy, he's an MDFC. He's a little oh. elemental made of like vines and like a hedron in the middle. And if you look closely, I don't know if you want to check this out, Lula, but he's no, got these that. little these little arms and he's holding nice out and there's arms. a butterfly that like landed on one of his little tiny tree oh, arms. Oh, that's too gentle. And I, I don't want every, anything bad to ever happen to him because he's just so cute. He's a baby. He is an actual baby. If this was top five babies, he would probably still be number three because he's just that good. <laughs> he's adorable. I love Tango He's so Florida like Adrian. inquisitive. You know, I thought this was a slam dunk and this is definitely going to help boost my cred after I did Dargo, but even though I <laughs> defended it perfectly. You needed it, but 
I, I think Tangled Florahedron's really cute. I think it's really cute. I also love that you drew your little guys. I think this is what kind of sparked it the other day because you guys always draw these, and I love <laughs> that this is what your vials special. Every is. Every you ever draw has that face. Yeah. Spoiler <laughs> alert. I think it's good to have consistency. <laughs> I think so too. How about Moxfield.com, the best way to build decks on the internet? If you want to build any of these little guys or put them in your deck, you can do that on Moxfield incredibly easily. All you have to do is use the search bar, type in the name of your favorite funky little guy, and put him in, and boom. If he is legal in your deck, he will go right in. You can turn this superior list, my list, into an entire deck if you want to. And that's just the power of Moxfield.com, folks. Moxfield. They're great. All right, Lou, let's jump to your number two. We're right. getting into the top, you know, the, the real. These are the top. This is a hot take. Grand Abolisher. <laughs> that, okay, he's a 2-2. Two, two, so he's a 2-2 two, two for, two. For, for, yeah, for two, and he's, like, pretty strong. And he's a big guy, but he's kind of just, like, a little guy. I think he's a little time. guy in, like, gigantic... Armor. Armor that doesn't yeah. fit. That's we haven't cute. really seen him. Like, now we have other art of Grand Abolisher that could be different interpretations. But I always like to think that it's, like... Like an Alphonse Elric, like a big guy suit of armor, but you know, it's a little dude inside. So I think Grand Abolisher's like that. I think, I think he has little dude energy because it's like, if your opponents aren't playing enough interaction, which you should be playing more instant speed interaction, he kind of doesn't do anything. He's kind of a vanilla if they can't do anything on your turn. Mia's campaign, please play more interaction for sure. <laughs> Definitely. Please play more interaction. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like Grand Abolisher has such a big effect on the game, depending on the format, especially if you're playing like higher power into speed You stuff. put Dargo! My Grand Abolisher Dargo is fine. Dargo only <laughs> attacks and blocks. See, Dargo has no effect on the game whatsoever. He doesn't do anything. He's never once Why comboed. Why commander then? He's never comboed or done anything. You know, he just... <laughs> Why you got Dargo deck? He's just easy. a little guy. I just think Grand Abolisher doesn't have little guy energy. I think he... Just he doesn't. Maybe it's a nitpick from me. I don't know. <laughs> That's but, uh, the channel name is crazy. <laughs> maybe that's what I think. All right, who's next? Are you next for number two? I'll be next for number two. My number two is Mere Convert, the best mana dork. I agree. For Yeah, for you guys who don't know, he is two mana, he's a little guy, and you pay two life, and he can give you one mana of any color, colorless, so he can go in any deck, and he has toxic, so if you're doing a poison deck, he can help chip in just a little bit. Strictly worse, basically, than Ornithopter of Paradise, but you love him. I more. love him, too. Yeah. I would play that over Ornithopter, too, because it's just, like, a fun card, I he's think. He's so cute, too. Yeah. Plus, like... In early game, if you don't have too many plays, you could just like attack someone with him, and it's just like really just scare fun. them. It's also a Winota card. Like a it is, it is wow, a guy for yeah. that. Yeah, so I think it's, good. it's cute, and I played it in a few decks. I think it's cool. I think yeah. he's cute, but he's not on my list, so obviously, what do I care, right? You know, <laughs> let's go to <laughs> my hater. number two. Oh, is it Dargo again? No, like... it is Toppelgeist. And now okay. Toppelgeist might be one you have to look up at home, but it's also on screen. Uh, this is a one mana one one, and it taps a creature. Oh. And this is a little spirit who is obviously like mm. a little guy who is no longer with us, except he kind of still is. And he, he goes around these churches and he there's like these little candles that are lit up and he just goes boop and he just pokes them over and he's just <laughs> running around booping candles. So he's like a cat. Yeah and, yeah, and I like the idea in flavor-wise that he can boop anything. So he just walks up to whatever creature you guys have out and he's boop, just taps it. You know whoever designed this card in art were, were like literally thinking that. They're like, mm, a little booping guy. Like if you That's put, yeah. you know what, editor, feel free to do this. If you put the a little... Asterix boop asterix next to Toppelgeist. I think that would really fit. Sell the thing. If, if that yeah. was a secret lair, I'd pick that up. I think the, the Poltergeist are really cute. There's like the cat one too. The little with the yarn ball yeah. makes me so sad. That is a little guy. When I got that card, I was like, oh my god, he's so cute. I'm like, oh no, he's dead. <laughs> he's so yeah, so he's a little cute. guy too, though. But Absolutely. He's cute. I love him. Honorary shout out to Catgeist. Cat Catgeist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Catgeist. Okay, I think we're on to the, the littlest of guys. The, the, Who's the your best favorite little guy. little guy? Oh man, I, I don't know. You're ready to defend it. Dockside <laughs> Extortion is the littlest <laughs> guy of all. Anytime I play this guy on the field, I'm like, he's just a little guy, and I hope that people will leave him alone. Does it normal to groan after resolving a little guy? Yeah. I guess that's a question for you guys to answer at home. This one, this one, this one, I think are all groan worthy, right? What are you, like, I'm a little scared of Vile Smasher. With a cowboy hat? Half With of the these aren't hat? even cards. They're just like, <laughs> they're just like happy cards or something. Yeah, a, a little Dargo would maybe make me groan, right? Yeah. So here's my thing. He fits into the criteria I listed of being not expensive to cast, not big. You can get rid of him. You could just counter him. It doesn't even matter. But he's just a little pirate. Look at look at all the pirate theme stuff. He's I, a little dude that wants to Extortion though is yeah, like extortion isn't a little boy malicious. little boy behavior. And then also like I'm not sure if I ever really want to be like you know what if you're flickering this little guy, uh, I think I'm gonna have to pass him. Like <laughs> you I'm, love flickering, Mia. Don't talk to me about <laughs> flickering. My little goblin is just a little guy, and he's happy saying. 
now I want to know what you have because I feel like this is controversial. But yeah, get ready. This scrub. <laughs> it's scrub. It's scrub. <laughs> I drew him. He's my favorite little guy. He's like a worse mother of rooms. He's just got a bunch of teeth, and I'm afraid I don't even know if he has eyes. I drew him with eyes, but he's my favorite. I wrote a short on top five little guys. Because of Skrell. Because of Skrell, yeah. In the story, he was supposed to get scrapped for parts, and every Phyrexian is supposed to, you know, they play their part in the grand scheme. So you, he should have just gone and got scrapped because they didn't need him anymore. And he, like, rebelled and made his own little comedy. He's so, so cute. cute. Yeah. He's I do have guy. to appreciate it. I think Skrell was, like, the quintessential little guy. I think, and I'm happy. I better I better not see it on your list. I'm so happy no one put Fibblethip because I'm sick of Fibblethip <laughs> and I'm sick of... He doesn't deserve a secret letter. Scrub deserves one. Oh, wow. wow. Hot take for Mia. <laughs> also, just... 60% of your list is Phyrexian. Just to... I was, I, I was thinking that, and they're all so cute. Like, they're I mean, all like, cute. They're, they're all also cute the cute ones. ones. I was like, why don't we put Elish Norn on here? Because she's mommy. She's mommy, not, not a little guy. So I will reveal my best uh, little guy, and obviously the best little guy of these 15 that we have here. Uh, this is Bottle Gnomes. <laughs> okay, these are yeah. little, like, little doofy guys. They're wandering around. They're, like, marching. They're on patrol. I think they think that they're helping a lot, but really they're sort of, like, a dumb creature to put in the way, and if I really need to... I'm gonna drink their their guts as like a reserve and heal myself. Is that what I put on the little guy list? That's what they're made of. I, I'm sorry, like they're just water sloshing around in a thing. I actually don't know if they would die. Are they the container or are they the container and it's Isn't it's this contents. like isn't this like the Kool-Aid man like debate? It is, it is kind of is like the Kool-Aid man the liquid or the glass pitcher or both? That no. was BZ, you really just said you were gonna drink these little guys. <laughs> yeah, like... I don't know. Look, it's fine. Maybe just splice that together so it makes sense. <laughs> but bottle like are adorable. They're kinda like those like um you get them from like the, the convenience store, those ninety nine cents juice drinks. The hug thingies? No, I don't know if that's what they're called. But they're like those little juice drinks. That's what they make me think of. They're so cute. They're I mean the flavor text is reinforcements, dot 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 or refreshments. Come on. They are absolutely gonna hold down the fort. And they're the best chump blocker, and I love them. I really like them because my friend used to have a Shirei deck. And we're like, not the bottle gnomes. And we used to be like, I'll fight you if you sacrifice those three life multiple times. That's just don't, just I don't want to sacrifice huge. them because I love them. <laughs> but I will if they're going to die anyway. There's you'll you'll drink them. I yeah. will drink the bottle gnomes. There's definitely some creatures where I'm like, well, I can't kill it because it makes me feel bad because they're so cute and they're just little guys. Or I'll swing at you with it. You don't want to do this to this little guy, don't you? And that's kind of like the fun appeal of playing them, I think. Absolutely. Definitely let us know in the comments who won this episode, uh, whose little guys are the best list. Uh, Lua, where, they can, where can they find you if they just want to see more of you and less of us? Yeah, uh, you can go to YouTube for Scribe Babies content or lewisaris.com to find me and everywhere I am on the internet. And you can also watch this video in the middle. Uh, I don't know what it is yet, but I want you to click on it.